I just flashed my AMD RX 9070 to a 9070 XT BIOS. You may have seen a couple others do this in recent videos, but they use a flashing tool and they have to fiddle around with the chips on the BIOS on the GPU. I use the new software flashing tool shared by Benick3 on overclock.net. In this video, I'll share performance gains and quickly go over how I was able to get this to work. So I originally saw the article on Tom's Hardware about someone who had successfully flashed their RX 9070 to the XT BIOS, and I decided to brave the process. As a word of warning, not doing this correctly will brick your card, as in not working ever again. So be careful. I have an ASUS Prime OC RX 9070, and the first thing I did was find the XT variant of the same card and download the BIOS ROM file from Tech Power Up's website. Then I grabbed the flash tool from the post. I'll put the link in the description below to that. I renamed the flash tool to just AMD VB flash to make the command line easier. Then I put in the BIOS flash command. I'll put that in the description below as well, but I caution you once again, this can brick your card if you do it wrong, so read the post first. After a successful flash, I shut down the computer completely as per instructions. I ran the tool again and used the command to check the BIOS. The product name is now corresponding to the XT variant. I believe this actually worked. Now you're probably wondering what that did as the XT variant has more cores and more TMUs and you can't just flash those in. What it did do is increase the TDP from 220 watts to around 320 watts max. And as you'll see, this should increase the clock speeds, giving us a lot more performance. So quickly going through our benchmarks, here is the result. For Mark 1440p, we get an increase of 13 frames per second over stock, 80 frames per second to 93 frames per second, a 16% increase. After playing with the voltage a little, I was able to go a bit further up to 96 frames per second for a 20% gain. The XT BIOS is showing some muscle in this non-XT card. Time Spy showed an increase of 8% over stock. Steel Nomad shows an increase of 9.9%, and we get 9.4% increase in 1080 extreme setting and superposition. During these tests, the power draw went as high as 320 watts. It's a great stock increase of 10% if your system can handle the extra 80 to 100 watts power draw. While I didn't record before and after in games, I can tell you that my 1% lows in a lot of games are much higher than before. Average frames per second range from 10 to 15% higher depending on the games and the settings. Last, I didn't experiment extensively with any voltage or memory settings yet. I'll do that in a future video where we play with those and measure results. From what I understand, we could get another 5 to 10% more from this amazing card. So if you're incredibly brave and somewhat tech savvy, these extra frames can be yours for a price of just a few clicks and some keystrokes. Just be sure to use extreme caution and stop what you're doing if you're unsure of anything, even the next step. Read, read, read. All right, leave those questions and comments below. Thanks so much for watching my video. I love you people.